Hello, in this video, we show you how you can build custom agents and tools in LangChain. Suppose that you want to ask a question from a chatbot like ChatGPT to know the temperature of a city like New York or the current price of a stock. However, our chatbot may not access to real-time data or it may have been trained on old data, so its knowledge may not be up to date. As we showed in our previous video, we can use LangChain's agents and tools to provide useful information for our language model so that it can answer such questions. For example, we can run an agent to do a web search using a suitable tool to collect some additional information about our question. The collected information can then be used by the language model to answer our question. In our previous video, we used this simple code to run an agent for searching the web using SERP API. Using SERP API, we can do a web search using a search engine like Google. The first step is to install the LangChain package using PIP. We then import some modules to load tools, initialize the agents, and use a language model like those provided by OpenAI. We then create our LLM model. By setting the temperature value to zero, we get less random responses. We then specify SERP API as our tool and load it. After that, we initialize our agent by specifying our loaded tools and our LLM. The zero-shot React description is a generic type for agents that you can use in many applications. Finally, we run our agent by feeding our question to it. The agent then performs a web search using SERP API and feed the collected information to our model to get its response. Now, let's see how we can design a custom tool. For example, let's assume that you want to ask some question about a stock. To do so, we build a custom tool to get financial data using Yahoo Finance. To use Yahoo Finance, we first install its package using PIP. We then import the required modules as in our previous example. To make our custom tool, we import a class called base tool. All custom tools can be built by subclassing from this abstract class. In fact, this class is a base class that all LangChain tools inherit from. We also import Yahoo Finance. We then create our OpenAI model or LLM. We now create our custom tool by defining a new class that is inherited from the base tool class. Let's call it as my tool. We also define a name and a description for it. We now define a run function for this class, which gets an input string. The string is then processed and a string output is returned by this function. In this example, we feed the input string to Yahoo Finance to get the ticker information related to the input query. We now specify our created class as a tool and load it. Finally, we initialize our agent as before and run it by feeding our input query to it. The agent then uses our defined tool to get some information about our query and feed it to our LLM to get our final response. As a recap, to build a custom tool in LangChain, you can inherit a new class from the base tool class. This new class must have a run function that gets an input string and outputs another string. In this function, you can define your desired functionality. This was a short tutorial about custom tools in LangChain. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.